So the next problem, number 15, is this one here. And it's hard to see because it's a little fuzzy, but it says uh, this side of the triangle, the height of the triangle, is 2g squared times h to the 5. And then down here for the um, base of the triangle, it's 3 times g times h. So if we are trying to solve this problem, we need to know that the area of a triangle, because this problem is saying express the area as a monomial, as one term, the uh, area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. Okay, so we know what the base is. So I'm going to go ahead and say area is equal to the base, which is 3gh. I'm going to put that in parentheses times uh, the height. So the height is 2g squared h to the 5. And so we're going to use the <coughs> power uh, product of powers property. And we're going to go ahead and multiply these numbers here. So we got 3 times 2 is 6. G times G squared. What do we do? We add the exponents using the product of powers property. The exponent here is 1. So we're adding 1 with 2. So we get G to the 3. And then we have the H's, right? So we got H and we add the powers here. So we have a 1 and a 5. So that means H to the 6. And we are done. That's our answer. So let's go ahead and look at this word problem. Similar, it's involving a geometric shape. Uh, here we have a cube. And the formula for the surface area of a cube is SA, or surface area, is equal to 6S squared, where SA is the surface area, and S is the length of any side. And you can see here in the drawing, I'm not sure if you can take a look at it, but it's 3 to the power of 3 times B. Right? I'm sorry, a to the power of 3 times b is the length of one of the sides of the cube. So we want to express the area of the cube as a monomial and write our answer here. And so how do we do it? Well, we can plug in to our, um, to our I'm going to go ahead and write it like that, right? Surface lowercase area is equal to 6 side squared. And what is the length of the side? It is a to the 3 power, to the power of 3 times b. So that's what I'm going to put here in the place of s. I'm going to substitute a to the power of 3 times b, parentheses, and that is squared. Okay, so now what we have is a, um, we have the power of a power property. And what do we do if we have a power to a power? We multiply the powers together. Okay. Um, so first of all, we're going to distribute out our power. So this is going to equal to 6. The, pow the square does not apply to 6. The squared applies to what's inside the parentheses. Right? And so we have 3 times 2 is 6. And then we have b. And here, when we distribute out the power, is b to the 1 times 2, which is 2. Right. Um, oh, my goodness, I messed up here. Oh, no, I messed up. So let me go ahead and fix this here. It is going to equal to 6, unaffected by the power of 2. And then here with 2, we're going to go ahead and distribute out. This is a to the power of 6, my mistake. And then we're going to distribute out the power of 2 here. So we get b to the 1 times 2. So that's b to the 2. Okay. So my answer for a is the surface area is equal to 6a to the 6b squared. Now what's part b is what is the surface area of the cube if a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4? Well, how do we do this? We'll go ahead and substitute in 3 for A and 4 for B and see what our surface area is. So surface area is equal to 6 times 3 to the 6 
times 4 to the 2. And so we'll go ahead and grab a calculator and see what this equals. We got uh, 6 times 3 to the power of 6 times oh, delete times 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So the surface area is going to equal 69,984 and do we have any units here? Okay, nope, so we have no units, right? So whatever units that is squared.